Health Minister Ong oh said Singapore's strategy of dealing with uh, COVID-19 uh, is a middle-of-the-road approach uh, and not a flip-flop one. And in his view, uh, okay, this approach uh, or this strategy uh, had helped Singapore avoid a high KO uh, numbers as seen in uh, many other countries. Uh. Well, in the past, uh, everybody is saying okay, the strategy which Singapore adopted uh, had helped Singapore maintain a low daily case count of maybe single or even zero. Uh. But now uh, we are saying the strategy uh, which we adopted, uh, which is a very unique one, uh, okay, helped Singapore uh, keep our KO cases uh, low, uh, but our daily cases are high uh, compared to other countries. I don't know, uh, but uh, kind of sound funny, uh, cause uh, as we like move forward, uh, our strategy seems to bring us backwards. Eh? In fact, uh, if I may quote what Minister Ong mentioned in the conference he did earlier this morning, okay, he said this, uh, okay, the path Singapore has chosen uh, is unique in the world. We did not take a purely zero COVID or living with COVID approach. The path Singapore has chosen is quite unique in this world. We did not take a purist, zero COVID, or living with COVID approach. So, uh, it is not a purist, zero COVID approach, and not a living with COVID approach, but rather a middle of the road approach. Seriously, uh, this middle of the road approach uh, sound to me uh, like something not here, not there approach. Uh, then, uh, I may be wrong, uh, okay? Cause I may not be catching up with all the COVID happenings uh, that is, uh, you know, happen in Singapore, uh, okay? But ho, I remember uh, okay, PMD uh, say this uh, not once, you know, but at least twice uh, that the strategy that Singapore is taking uh, is one uh, leaving with COVID one day. Let me show you the videos uh, okay, which PMD mentioned this uh, both uh, a week ago as well as one that is uh, four months ago. Uh. We must press on with our strategy of living with COVID-19. Living with endemic COVID-19 also means we don't completely close our borders. So now, uh, I also don't know uh, who is right, who is wrong. Eh? Or is it like we suddenly change uh, from leaving with COVID strategy uh, to the middle of the road approach uh, just a week after PM Lee's speech? Eh? Or what? Uh? If you ask me, it's super confusing. Uh, okay? So this middle of the road approach are uh, still aiming at the endemic state. Or what? You know, uh, what state? Uh, okay? Is it a state uh, where everyone will get COVID-1? Uh, although uh, Minister Ong uh, okay, mentioned uh, with this uh, approach, uh, we are moving closer to the light at the end of the tunnel. But based on the current situation, uh, I don't think uh, many of us see the light yet. Uh, or even know uh, which side of the tunnel uh, is the end of the tunnel. Uh. Okay, it seems like uh, more seems like we are like going around and round and round uh, in the middle of the tunnel uh, until someone or something uh, is able to tell us exactly uh, where we should head uh, towards the end of the tunnel. Anyway, today new cases uh, seems to have dropped uh, okay. But uh, we must be mindful uh, that it could be due to the weekends uh, okay, which usually have less swap being done. Uh. And although a uh, number drop, uh, it is still in the 2000 range, uh, so nothing really to be very happy about. As of uh, 18 October 12pm, uh, MOH declared a total of 2,553 new cases in Singapore. Uh, okay. This is a drop of 505 uh, from the previous case. And then uh, we also have 2,008 cases in the community, 544 uh, in the uh, dorms, and one imported case. Uh. A point to uh, note uh, or which I would like to highlight uh, okay, is that uh, you know since 29 September, a day just before we crossed the 2K mark, okay, the number of new cases uh, who are children uh, below 11 years old uh, has been uh, above 100 already ever since that day. Then with that, uh, every day uh, okay, got a childcare or school uh, will send out notice uh, that there's a positive case here uh, and a positive case there uh, detected. Uh. If you ask me, am I worried or not? Of course lah! You know, uh, I have a baby boy uh, who is still going to childcare leh, and uh, there had been a positive case reported there before there. How can don't worry? We have also uh, 15,132 cases uh, who are on the home recovery plan, 3,209 uh, in the community care facility, and 858 uh, in the COVID-19 treatment facility. Uh. 
although uh, a drop of 700 plus uh, okay was seen in the home recovery uh, okay but i am concerned uh, okay as it might just uh, mean that more are being detected uh, via art uh, which is not added to the official numbers also uh, we have uh, 858 cases uh, in the covid 19 treatment facility there uh. what is the condition of all these cases are uh, there there uh? We also have another uh, 1,714 uh, who are warded in the hospital, uh, of which uh, 337 of them uh, require oxygen and 67 uh, are in the ICU. Based on the number of cases uh, in both the recovery and warded uh, scenario, uh, okay, other than home recovery, uh, every other category uh, saw an increase in numbers. Eh. And today, uh, we also very sad uh, have uh, six more KO cases. Uh. And month to date, uh, in October, okay, we have already 144 KO cases. And in based on the last 28 days analysis, uh, we have 145 KO cases already. Of the six KO cases, uh, okay, four of them uh, are not vaccinated. One is partially vaccinated and one uh, is fully vaccinated. Recently, uh, some of my viewers have sent me some information and one of them uh, is comparing Singapore uh, to other countries uh, where despite okay, having lower vaccination rate uh, compared to Singapore, uh, are doing so much better uh, in terms of their lower daily cases uh, and even KO cases. Uh. And another uh, case okay, uh, is actually from the CDC in the US. Okay, There are findings uh, which seems to point to the fact that uh, due to the Delta variant, okay, we all might be vaccinated uh, for nothing. Eh. Well, if you ask me, I don't know how true both this uh, information are. Uh, okay? But then I want to ask you guys, okay, what do you think? Eh? Okay, uh, so to summarize uh, okay, for today, uh, okay, to date, uh, we have a total of 150,731 infected cases in Singapore already. And then uh, we also have another 239 uh, KO cases uh, in total. Currently, uh, those that are on the recovery and warded one, uh, we have uh, 20,913 uh, of them. Uh. This number uh, is actually 376 uh, lower than the previous day. Uh. 